Fantasy casting. Sure. Fantasy casting. All right. Derek Stokely asked this question. Do you think we'll see talent such as uh, Scarlett Johansson or and Catherine Winnick cast in the Benioff and White Star Wars Cinematic Trilogy? But this raises the question of what kind of performance do you want in these movies? Mm. I think that we're going to, I think Jon Snow is going to pop up. Yeah, I was going to say, it's just going to be the cast of Game of Thrones. <laughs> no, no, but I do think, I do think Kit Harrington's going to show up. I think he will yeah. yeah. from, from what we hear is that he really wants to be. In. Definitely. I think Amelia Clark was talking Amelia about Clark that. Amelia Clark said yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. Like, and yeah. he wants to be in Star Wars badly. Uh, yeah. He's knows some people that can make it happen. <laughs> so, and I also think he, he's been crim criminally underused in other movies that he's been in. Like there was that really bad movie, The Seventh Son. Oh yeah. Awful movie. He's in the beginning, and, and nothing against Ben Barnes. Ben Barnes is like the star of that movie. Mm -hmm. Switch them up. Right. Let, let, sure. let Kit Harrington take that role, because then he was in that awful Pompeii, but he was good in that movie. He's good in everything yeah. he does. He's just in crap. Yeah, he's a good actor. He's really good. He's he smolders, of, man. He smolders. He's just been in a lot of crap, and I think that you could put him, and wouldn't it be great to see him in the, if it is indeed in the Old Republic, as one of like the first Jedi? It'd be amazing. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, yeah. could you separate Jon Snow? I could. But, you know, maybe the other people can't. But well, I that's, think but that's a big question, and I, I want to hear your thoughts too, Emma. But, like, I, I, it's, it's, we, I heard you talk about the He-Man thing the other day. Yeah. I was making flapjacks while watching Collider Live nice. in the background. I like and, that you uh, listen to it when you're, when you're eating your foods. What's that? I like that you listen to Collider yeah, Live. Yeah, I put it on, foods. and, you know, I mostly just stick around for Mark Riley's in the corner in a, oh. in a sweater vest. Okay. But um, <laughs> Wearing nice vests. He's yeah. been looking very good. Um, but you guys are talking about He-Man. Yes. And, like, mm -hmm. unknown, unknown. And I, I am generally in that camp too but i like seeing some i think i can separate it it, it sometimes mm -hmm. takes you out of not yeah. just star wars but any property game of thrones is mm -hmm. sometimes i love that they cast day players and guest stars of so well but you know ian mcshane shows up and that was great and right. he's so good he transcends that but he's, you know, he's not elite. So I don't know. Uh, what kind of performer do you want? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm definitely more of the unknown train. I think that Star Wars has had a really good track record with their unknowns. But I do think that it is going to be something along the lines of Game of Thrones in that you will have this good mix. Because coming into Game of Thrones, you know, you had... Sean Bean playing Ned Stark. Right. But then, like, you didn't really know who, like, Kit Harrington or Richard Madden or, yeah. uh, you know, Lady Sophie Clark Turner, yeah, yeah. And Amelia Clark, like, any of the kids were. So it's I think. Like, yeah. Well, Charles Dance, like, that guy's from Trading right. Places. Yes, but here's a problem with that theory yeah. is that with television, mm. you can get away with that. It's true. Because you're, cause in television, a lot of times, but, you're, you're connected to the premise of it. Sure. And sure. said, let me try this out. Uh, and see what it was. That's how I felt about Game of Thrones because I knew Sean Bean. I was, yeah. I didn't know anybody. And I was like, oh, and it was fantasy, yeah. so I'm in. And then once, it, once you, Game of Thrones hooks you because it's so outrageous inside of it, it's, it's, right. Lord of the, it's rated our Lord of the Rings. So, what, so then what you're saying is that because what Benny Off and Weiss are bringing to the table is a totally new Star Wars story, it doesn't have any of the previously established characters, you think they're going to be less likely to cast unknowns? Because, I mean, you look That's at exactly what J.J. Saying. Abrams' yeah. film, yes. and obviously, like at the time, most of the cast. Was Who's relatively Daisy, unknown. Right, yeah, but it was Daisy Ridley. Right, but what J.J. Abrams had going for him was two things. Continuation of sure. the saga that we loved. Yep. And it had Harrison Ford, uh, Carrie Fisher, and Mark Hamill attached. Great. And so, and Oscar Isaac was known ish. He was, yeah, yeah no he was niche. borderline. But no, you, you, you're building those characters. I, and I want to make a mix of two. And I think that for a Benioff and Weiss thing, if they mm. indeed do it, Back in the day, you're going to need a big star to get people mm -hmm. in the theater that Star Wars fans are going to go. I mean, Star Wars yeah, fans are going to see it. But for other fans, like if it's like, oh, well, who's in it? Uh, it's just a bunch of people. Who, I don't know. It's just another Star Wars movie. Uh, then why do I want to see it? That's oh, fair. wait, but 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 Tom Hardy's in it or or right. Michael Fassbender's in it or, or whoever. Charlie Theron's in it. You know, whoever it might be. You need at least one big star to, to grab seats for those casual fans yeah. if it's going to be in the Old Republic. I, mm. I, I agree with that in terms of business yeah. now, and I think uh, they'll pull a lot of background players. Let's, there's also a lot of Game of Thrones actors, because they cast in the UK, who are in the Star Wars yeah. movies now. Right. Yeah, they Aaron, are. You know, Captain Kennedy is, is, is uh, you know, my favorite is, is uh, Shaga, who likes axes. So it's like <laughs> there's a lot of things there, a lot of, a lot of times, a lot of crossovers. So um, i like to see that kind of continue. The, yeah. big, the biggest one I want is Raman Jewel to come do the music. Oh, yes. Uh, that's what I yeah, want yeah, for, yeah. The, for this oh, series. Oh, definitely. Uh, Probably after, will happen. after seeing him in concert, just wailing on an electric You're guitar. welcome. Yeah. That, that, <laughs> thank you. Hey, <laughs> thanks for sending me to that. Okay there, there Christian. Go. It was See? good. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Appreciate I, uh, that. Yeah, I need people to let me know when, I'm, when I've done things. <laughs> All right.